Hey everybody! It's Rebecca again and I'm here with some awesome tips about your Color Street nail application and today I'm going to be showing you the anchor method and I'm going to be showing you um, how to take your nail strips and use them on both hands to actually make your manicure go a little bit further. Let's get started. All right, here we go. So I have all of my nail strips that I'm gonna use laid out. Um, I did this to save time. I've got my little buffer to use. I've got a little toozy here that I'm gonna use as an accent. And of course my hands are nicely washed, ready to go. I'm gonna use my Color Street nail prep pad to make sure that my nail beds are nice, clean, free of oils. We don't want any lotion or anything that might inhibit the adherence of the nail strips to our nails. All right, nails are clean and ready to go. So as I said, we're gonna be talking about the anchor method and using the same nail strip to do both of your nails. So we'll go ahead, uh, this is Wild Rose that I'm using today. And of course you just pull that upper layer off. And when you're doing the anchor method, this is gonna make it a little bit easier to handle the nail strip and make it less likely that it's gonna stick on you instead of your nail. So this is what we do. We take the nail strip, making sure that the same side up that you just peeled it off of is still there. You're gonna lay it back onto it, just like that. That's gonna give you a place to hold on to the nail strip where you're not sticking it to yourself. It's gonna give you that extra needed control as well when you're applying the nail strip to your nail. So we're gonna gently apply that. There we go. Now, if you were not going to use the rest of this strip, you would fold over and then buff off and discard. However, we're not gonna do that. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, it's fully on my nail, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it around, and I'm just gonna make a small perforation with my thumbnail. This is the other reason we always start with our pinkies. Make that tiny perforation around my nail, and then we're gonna take this off. And we still have all this nail strip to use. So you got it, we're gonna use it on the other one. So carefully peel it off of that. Place it back on. Pull the small tab away from the rest of the nail strip. And we're ready to go. So we set that little piece aside. We go right back in and we get our other pinky nail ready to go. Just like before, I'm holding it with the anchor method. It's giving me a nice amount of control to lay it down onto my nail bed. Being ever so careful not to get it on your cuticle. And this time we can do it like you normally would if you're going to use the whole nail strip, making sure that no bubbles are in it. Wrapping it around. And there we go. So I'll go ahead and buff this one off. Just like that. And then I usually use my thumbnail again to come in and get that residual nail strip off. Now you can use a, a wooden nail uh, file to do this as well. But I find using your thumbnail is nice and it always has your tools with you. So I just make small perforations where it might have gone over my nail and then you're able to just remove that very easily. That gets your nail all cleaned up, and you're good to go. Awesome, right? All right, so let's see that in action one more time, just so you guys can see it again. So you remove the top layer, remove the nail strip, keeping the same directionality of everything and just moving it over on top like that. You've got it anchored and you have a place to hang on to the nail strip. We're going to go ahead and apply it right to the nail bed. There we go. And as you can see, even if you have it over where your nail is supposed to be, you just easily remove that and replace it. There we go. 
and then just place it back on there. It gives you more space, a little bit, a little bit more control. And then I'm going to do what I did with the last one, make that small perforation on the nail and move it. There we go. Got a place to hang on to. Pull that tail and you're ready to go on the other nail. So this is actually going to make your one set of nails last you for at least two manicures and I can usually get a petty out of it as well. So this is just using our product to the most potential that we can. And again, if you have a little bit extra, I just use my thumbnail, small perforation, remove that excess. All right. All right, and we're all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys have any questions at all, please drop it in the comments. And as always, have a colorful day. Bye.